Welcome to the Saturday Update. I'm Aith Gardner. Greater Brisbane is into its first day of a three-day lockdown to prevent the spread of a highly contagious variant of coronavirus. A hotel quarantine worker has picked up the strain. Western Australia has closed its border with Queensland, while Victoria has banned travellers from the Greater Brisbane area. The list of Sydney venues attended by confirmed COVID-19 cases is growing. A full list of alerts is on the New South Wales Health website, while the upper zone of the Northern Beaches is into its final day of lockdown. The stay-at-home order lifts at midnight. More than 1,300 COVID deaths have been recorded in Britain in the past 24 hours. It's the highest number since the pandemic began, while an increase in cases is due to the new variant of the virus, thought to be up to 70% more infectious. Despite the US President promising a smooth transition of power, Donald Trump has confirmed he won't be attending the inauguration of Joe Biden, making the announcement on Twitter after the platform lifted a ban on his account. Checking sport, day three of the third test gets underway today with India on 2 for 96, trailing Australia by 242. And the Melbourne Renegades have snapped a losing streak in the BBL with a six-wicket win over the Adelaide Strikers. Melbourne's Jake Fraser-McGurk telling Fox Sports the boys are wrapped. Absolutely stoked. I mean, it's good to get back on the winners list after, what, seven losses. Um, you know, good to, good to get a win on the board. Tennis Australia has asked South Australia to help quarantine all the international players for the Australian Open. 50 people will complete their 14-day quarantine in Adelaide. And the Australian Grand Prix looks set to be moved to the back end of the F1 season. In entertainment news, Jamiroquai lead singer JK has been forced to deny that he was one of the rioters at the US Capitol after he began trending on social media. Now, Summer, you may be thinking you saw me in Washington, but I'm afraid... I wasn't with all those freaks. Uh, Don't be fooled, JK is English. Twitter users noted the resemblance of one of the rioters' Viking horns to the singer's flamboyant headgear that he often wore while performing. Shia LaBeouf and American actress Margaret Qualley have split. It comes as 34-year-old LaBeouf deals with the fallout of a lawsuit where he's accused of physical and emotional abuse by his last girlfriend, FKA Twigs. And rapper Nicki Minaj has agreed to pay singer Tracy Chapman $450,000 in a copyright settlement. The rapper broke copyright in her song Sorry, which contained part of Tracy's 1988 song Baby Can I Hold You. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.